All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about corn earworm and how to prevent it from happening. There is a way, very effective. There's actually numerous types of ways, but I'm going to show you my way. It's uh, easy, very simple. Well, well, actually, for me, it's not simple. Me taking care of my corn for earworm is difficult. That's just the way it is. Will it grow? Nothing can be easy. Even spraying corn is difficult, and I will show you why. So let me give you an example, and I'll tell you exactly what I use to take care of this earworm. But uh, let me just tell you what it is. Earworm is brought in by a moth that basically lands on your corn when it first the silks first come out. The silks have this kind of uh, aroma that attracts those moths to lay their eggs on the silks of your corn. And then they take off, but if you don't spray it immediately when it silks, those eggs are going to be in there, the worms are going to hatch, and they're going to start eating the top of your corn and and then when you go finally harvest the corn and you peel back the husk you're gonna see it's pretty nasty you have a worm in there and it's all slushy and you know you can still salvage the the ear of corn but it's not a pleasant sight to see and today I'm gonna make sure you don't get to see that sight if you follow the instructions I'm gonna give you so now let me show you why it's not difficult um, why it's not easy for me to complete this task okay so here's the problem that I'm having as you guys can see you know I couldn't just grow corn like any other gardener or farmer no I decided I had to grow corn you know that's 12 foot tall 13 foot tall you see that so now my dilemma is as you see that silk way up there I cannot reach that. So my solution is I have to get a step ladder. See this? I literally have to get on a step ladder to come and spray my corn. Look, there's another one in there in the middle. Now how in the heck am I supposed to get to that? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to get a different sprayer just to spray far away. Okay, so here it is. You see it? See, this is brand new, this silk. This is the prime time when the, the moths will come in and lay eggs. Is when it's like this. As soon as you see this, actually I might be about two days behind on this one, but I'm gonna spray it today. But it's these brand new silks need to be sprayed immediately. And let me show you one that did come out last week so you can see the difference. You see how this one's already getting dried up? You see that? Oh, sorry if you can see it. You see that? See, this one's already been sprayed, and I can tell that there is no worm in there. There is no worm. So as soon as I see the silks, I start spraying, and this corn doesn't all come out at the same time. So I have to come out every day and look for new ones. So there's that new one there, and there's this new one here. But I think you get the point. So let me show you. Let me get off this slider before I break my neck. I mean, guys, I gotta go all the way up there. So let me show you exactly the product that I use to spray this and get rid of those nasty little critters. So guys, this is what I use. Uh, it is organic, 100% uh, organic. It's got the uh, OMRI stamp right there. Can you see that? It's a little windy, but this is uh, the BT, Monterey BT. This is my preferred choice. Uh, it's relatively cheap. 
very, very effective, and it is organic. If someone tells you otherwise, then you ask them to explain that tag right there. And if they can explain that tag, then they will never tell you again it's not organic. So just keep that in mind. The way I do it, it's fairly simple. I have one of these uh, half gallon, you know, sprayers. You know, I'm getting my camera wet. And I'll be climbing up on the ladder and I will be spraying. And I will be spraying the whole stalk, especially the silks. I will spray with this. Now I have everything measured. Uh, all your measurements are right in the back of your bottle. Uh, I don't know exactly what they are now, but I'm not going to bore you with giving you measurements. But that's the stuff. Uh, I bought it on Amazon, I believe. Uh, Amazon does sell it or, you know, any local nursery you might have. And it's basically just not going to put my life in danger because I always do things the hard way. Can't just grow five foot tall corn. No, not me. It's got to be 13 feet tall, you know? But I will attack that. So guys, once again, this right here is the product. I will not leave a link in the description below. I'm sorry, I, am, I got quite a few things to do still. But there's the name, you type this in on Amazon and you will find it. So guys, if you like this, this was informative to you, please give me a thumbs up. More importantly, hit the subscribe button on the channel support the channel click the notification bell if you are interested in finding out when the very next video comes out which is usually about three to four videos a week on stuff like this and many other things waste of farming gardening especially and once in a while i'll teach you how to cook something so till next time you guys stay safe